This Saturday is the first home game of the football season, and students are ready to celebrate. Just going to tailgate beforehand, have a good time. But law enforcement agencies hope the good time won't go too far. For the last three years, police and the city prosecutor's office have worked together to enforce a zero-tolerance policy on underage drinking after issues of bad behavior in the past. Well, the football tradition, as wonderful it is, does not include burning campus to the ground when you win and lose, which is what we were having. And the problem was a lot of it was excessive amounts of drinking. Columbus police will be ready for this weekend as well. They tell me that they'll be using the mounting unit along with undercover officers looking for underage drinkers. Last year, the prosecutor's office filed nearly 350 underage drinking charges. This is the file to prove it. Nearly half of those were OSU students. Assistant City Prosecutor Bill Hedrick says the decrease in problems is directly linked to tough enforcement. Fortunately, we've not had any really bad incidents on campus since our zero tolerance. Student Leslie Abernathy says the crowd is still crazy, but only when it comes to its spirit. People still get pretty rowdy, but I think it's like a good kind of rowdy. Lauren Dietrich, NBC4.